All right, how to get into trapping is really easy. It'll take you maybe, maybe 50 bucks at the most um, and just a little slice of land, it's all it takes. You get these at basically any, at any outdoor store, Cabela's, Bass Pro, your local store maybe have them, dog proofs. It's real simple, come on a chain with a couple swivels. Make sure you have your trap tag, especially in Michigan. You gotta have tags on all your traps. Real simple, you close it. Take my glove off here. See? Now once that spring gets hit, coon's caught. Then you end up with fur in your in your trap, then you dispatch it however you may please. I use the 22. Um, some people use baseball bats, etc. You know, because they like to keep the skulls. But you get dog proof, which is about 15 bucks anywhere you shop. Cheap ass cat food from Dollar General. I mean, literally, luckily we have, I have a cat at my house. So cat food's a surplus for me. And then to add it up, top it off, you get some Trapper J's coon candy. You catch for 99% of the time. I mean, it doesn't take much to catch a coon. They're kind of stupid. But you get this, some cat food, and something sweet in there, and a small slice of land, you will catch fur. And that's just basically how you can get in trapping for uh, next to nothing. So I'm out here right now setting trap line. Caught a coon in my, uh, in my coyote set. And I'm getting my dog proof ready because I'm going to string a whole line through here and uh, get rid of some of these coons. We're trying to get the turkey population back up. Stay tuned. So I don't know if you can make that out or not, but you see that little little trail right here? There's just a small little trail for game. And there's one that just veers off just a little bit through here. So I'm going to set right up in between that. Some people don't like these kind of traps i i i personally don't care i mean they catch fur for me so but all i do is i add just a little bit of trapping wire to it and i'll string it around that tree right there so this thing will be anchored into the ground by itself but when the coon catches it or catches a coon it'll pull out it'll give them some swivel room or whatever but they can't climb that tree i mean they can climb it but they're not going to run off of my trap see just a matter of seconds i Gave it a couple quick wraps, laid it to the side a little bit, set the trap. Now it's time to add our bait and our lure and then uh, move on to the next one. So you take your little bit of some cat food here, fill it up. Give a couple freebies, take some of this good smelling stuff. I'm almost out. I need to get some more. Just drop a little bit in there. Rub it on the side a little bit. Stick her back in there and on to the next one. Same thing here. Big nice beat down trail. I know this is a catch coon because I've caught many a coon here last season. And I'm just going to tie off to that tree right there and stretch my trap out to the middle of their run. And there's no way they're not going to go into it. And just like that, it's set. Got my bait and stuff in the hole and, and on we go. On to the next set. We're going to probably set a couple up in here. I've caught a couple coon up in there last, last season. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's basically pretty simple. You just find little small little runs or whatever. You find small runs that, you know, a deer obviously isn't going to run through it. Yeah, you might catch a possum or whatever, but some people have markets for possum. Around here, we really don't. It's normally coon, beaver, muskrat, and uh, and yokes is basically our, our four main animals we try to get around here. It actually gives us money. If you think you're going to trap and make millions of dollars, I'm sorry, you might as well just give up now. Trapping is more of a of a hobby. Yeah, you can make money at it, but listen, I've been doing it for three years. 
and I have not broke even yet on the amount of traps I've bought, the bait, the lure, especially the gas. You know how gas prices are nowadays. That big coon I, I got this morning, he may bring two bucks, you know. But to me, it's not about the price of the, of the fur. It's more along the lines of trying to bring more back turkey population and, you know, giving a good balance to the woods. And uh, landowners have problems with uh, beaver at a spot I have. I gotta go reset that and uh, get into trapping. It's fun. It gives you another perspective of how the wilderness actually works. And uh, you might learn some stuff. I think it's fun because it's, it's almost like Christmas every morning. You never know what you're gonna actually catch. And you never really know until you actually put your boots on the ground and actually go out and do it. I like it for that. And uh, anybody can go out and deer hunting. I mean, you go sit out and yeah, you may see a deer. Yeah, you may get a shot at a deer. But trapping's a whole different ball game. You set out a trap for a specific animal, and you may not even get him. You you know, you might just be setting blind, which is not good. You always want to set on sign, but it's just a it's just a thing. I mean, it's kind of hard to explain, but I, I really I really enjoy it and. Uh, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully I get somebody into trapping. Um, I'm always willing to take somebody out and show them how I do it, you know. Uh, so yeah, follow them along for uh, the rest of the season. I'm going to be taking more videos to try to get my uh, YouTube back to where it used to be at. Um, so yeah, follow along. See you later.